What's going on everybody? It's Mars Mindset, and we're doing the top 10 RPGs on the Sega Dreamcast. It's tough to choose just 10 games for a top 10 list, but it's even harder when the selection is as limited, as is the case with the Dreamcast Western RPG Library. I was asked to recommend some good RPG titles for the Dreamcast, so I've compiled a list of ones that I think are worth playing and also that are accessible. Although Sega's final console didn't have many RPGs, there are still a couple of gems to be found. In many cases, developers skipped porting games to the Dreamcast in favor of the PS2, GameCube, and the Xbox. However, there are still some critically acclaimed RPGs like Baldur's Gate and Fable that were canceled for the Dreamcast. That there are many more great games available that could be included if they had English translations. Number 10 is Time Stalkers. Time Stalkers is a dungeon crawler with a unique twist. Traditional roguelike elements are blended with JRPG features. You take control of Sword, a hero who has awoken in a strange world. Your task is to save its inhabitants while finding a way to escape. The story is interesting, if a little shallow, and enough to help the game stand out. When you enter a new dungeon, you start back at level 1. You have a limited space to carry objects, so you have to be strategic about what you choose to bring with you. Dungeons are generated randomly, so no two playthroughs are the same. You can pick up various party members as you go, and you can even capture creatures to keep in your monster house. Having a few creatures with you can help you in battles. Time Stalkers is a game that tries something different by resetting your level for each dungeon. This may be off-putting to some, but the game is still worth playing if you're a serious RPG gamer. It's a shorter game, but becomes more challenging near the end. Number 9. Dragon Riders Chronicles of Pern This action RPG is a title based on the successful Chronicles of Pern novels written by Anne McCaffrey. The game is very ambitious, with over 120 locations and over 170 characters to interact with. The story is very in-depth, which might turn off some casual players, but developers Ubisoft UK have done a great job of making the game feel cinematic. Gameplay is a mix of third-person adventure and text-based interaction. The game is slow-paced, but this is intentional as you uncover each layer of the story. You take control of Decor, a dragon rider, in a search to find a new mate for a gold dragon. The game is heavy in going places, with subplots and intrigue in a deep world that pulls all its contents from the novel. The tank controls are implemented well, though they are a little loose in places. Combat can be frustrated, but it is secondary only exists to move the plot along. The camera is the biggest issue with Dragon Rider. The static view flicks around in places and is disorientating as well as frustrating. This game will appeal to players who are looking for a well-told story with death rather than a great gameplay experience. Number 8. Evolution 2 Far Off Promise Far Off Promise is an even more ambitious game with an all-new engine and an even bigger world to explore. As the new century dawned, JRPGs were all the rage following the incredible success of Final Fantasy VII. Every developer was trying to cash in on the party turn-based formula with mixed results. Evolution The World of a Sacred Device was released in 1999 to average reviews, but it had a certain charm that led developer Sting to try and improve the formula with a sequel in 2002. In this traditional dungeon crawler, our teen hero Meg Launcher is invited to search for some mystery artifacts. Fighting them will make him the world's best adventurer, but a hidden evil is hampering him. The story rarely evolves beyond amusing, but die-hard JRPGs find will find joy here. The gameplay is adequate but not particularly exciting, with straightforward controls and an easy-to-understand leveling system. Combat is uninspired, but the characters have a certain charm that makes up for this. The enemies are also uninteresting, with giant spiders, rats, and other mutant creatures making up the majority. Evolution 2 has everything a JRPG needs, but doesn't excel in any area. Number 7. Silver This charming game from UK developer Spyro House is a light-hearted action RPG that tells the story of David, who is on a quest to rescue his kidnapped wife. The real-time fighting is refreshing, and the story moves along at a great pace. The standout feature is the pre-rendered backgrounds, which are filled with detail. It's not hard to love the visuals of this game. The level up system is simplistic and does not offer much opportunity for player choice. David and other companions develop automatically as the player progresses, which is a shame, as more in-depth upgrade system would have added a lot to the gameplay. Players must dash through linear rooms and areas, clearing out enemies as they go. 
Each character has several moves available, and the best attack for each foe is crucial. Silver is a delightful and beautiful game that will keep you entertained for hours on end. The voice acting is pretty good, and you'll definitely feel for the main character at times. If you're looking for an enjoyable fantasy adventure with some RPG elements, Silver is definitely the game for you. However, if you prefer more control or choice over character development, you might find it a bit too shallow. There's the story of a world at war, and of brave souls who fight for justice in a land fraught with peril. This tough action RPG is based on the anime of the same name. It's only game in the series that was released outside of native Japan. You play as a resurrected hero who's called up to defeat the evil Cardus. The story isn't particularly interesting, and it sadly never goes beyond the main goal. There are a few twists with some intrigue, but the story is mostly disappointing. The story may not be exciting, but the gameplay is excellent. The level up system is based around upgrading your equipment at the blacksmith. You pick up pieces of mithril and then decide how to improve your helmets, armor, weapons, and boots. This gives you complete control over your development and you can emphasize power over protection or magic over speed, for example. The game is overall enjoyable, if a little bit boring in some parts. The variety of enemies and locations is impressive and the giant bosses and secret battles keep the action fresh. The large levels give you a lot to explore, and it is a rewarding game that becomes tough early on. To uncover all the equipment and magic will take patience and trial and error, but it is definitely worth it for RPG fans to enjoy a challenge with death. 5. Shenmue Shenmue is a game that is both beautiful and tragic, a story of lost love and redemption, and it is a game that will stay with you long after you finish playing it. Shenmue was groundbreaking when it was released, blending elements of open world and quick time events to create something truly unique. You play as Ryo, a teenage martial artist on a quest to avenge his father's murder. The game is set in a gorgeous realistic world based on real life locations in the 1980s. You can easily lose yourself in the game's multitude of mini games. The graphics are incredibly detailed and you'll find yourself exploring every nook and cranny in the game world. The voice acting may not be the best, but each character feels like a real-world person. The quests you can complete have real meanings and actually change the game world. There's so much to do, and the story is both intriguing and though it can be frustrating to try and control Ryo at times, once you get used to the system, you can begin to overlook its shortcomings. The only other downside to the game is the mundane nature of some of the tasks. However, if you immerse yourself in the world, even the most mundane tasks can become four. Grandia 2. Grandia 2 is one of the many treasures, full of heart and soul, that you'll always remember fondly. Although dungeon crawlers can often become repetitive and monotonous, Grandia 2 is one of the best examples of the genre. With its vibrant world and interesting characters, it's easy to get absorbed in the game. The battle system is simple but effective, and the level up tree offers plenty of choices. This one mighty contender for best dungeon crawler of the 6th generation with charming music excellent special moves, and superb graphics. The story is engaging and constantly evolving with a surprise ending that will keep you gripped until the very end. Although it is a little linear, there is enough variety to warrant repeat playthroughs. RPG fans will love the characters and the story arc of this game. Everything comes together well without feeling forced and contrived. The computer characters can be a bit repetitive, but it doesn't detract from the gameplay or player development. This is a must-have for all three, Skies of Arcadia. Skies of Arcadia is an exciting RPG that features a diverse cast of characters and a grand adventure storyline. With its stunning visuals and music, exciting combat, and expansive open world, it's no wonder this game is considered one of the best on the Dreamcast. The Sky Pirate theme in Skies gives the game a unique flair while still staying true to the steampunk genre. If you're new to turn-based RPGs, don't worry. Skies is easy to pick up and play. Plus, it's just plain fun. With a variety of different locations to explore, you can either focus on the main story missions or take your time to uncover every secret the game has to offer. Dreamcast shines at its best in Skies. The level of detail is impressive and the characters all have different movesets. Some of the big special moves are visually and sonically stunning. The random battle mechanic can be frustrating if you're trying to progress quickly, but it suits the gameplay. 
this is one of the greatest RPGs of all time and everyone should play it at least once. Vast expanse of online gaming, there exists a world of fantasy and adventure waiting to be explored. This is Final Fantasy Star Online version two, a land of magic and mystery where players can come together and experience all that this virtual world has to offer. My number two selection would be Fantasy Star Online version two. The Fantasy Star series is widely considered to be the first true MMO RPG on consoles. Its impact on the video game industry is undeniable. Without Fantasy Star, we would not have the Fortnite and COD franchises today. The game itself is a technical marvel, and its importance in video game history should never be underestimated. Even today, thanks to a dedicated community of fans, it is still possible to play Fantasy Star online. A world of Fantasy Star that has seen four titles in a series since the 80s, this action RPG allows you to build up a character by joining up with friends to complete challenges. The missions vary from finding someone to taking down a huge boss. You can find or buy a vast array of equipment and augment some pieces by adding extra parts. You can switch between ranged or melee combat or specialize in healing or magic. It is said that the controls in Fantasy Star Online can be awkward, but I have never found this to be the case. With a little time and practice, you'll discover that the controls are actually quite intuitive. You can play through an offline story mode, which serves as a massive tutorial. With over 20 hours of gameplay, the story may be a little lackluster in places, but it still progresses and there's always a new mission to undertake. 1. Shenmue 2 Shenmue 2 is a game that allows you to explore a virtual world and experience a wide range of emotions. I wanted to put Fantasy Star in the number one spot, but in the end, I went with my heart and not my head. Shenmue 2 is quite simply the best game on Dreamcast. It takes everything that made the original so amazing and ramps it up to create one of the greatest gaming moments of all time. It's not played by as many people as it should have been. The story of Ryo continues as he visits Hong Kong to continue chasing his father's killer. The game is a true work of art with stunning graphics and artwork that are still impressive today. The world is so beautifully designed and alive, it's hard to believe this game was made back in 2001. The voice acting is excellent, and some of the control issues from the original have been addressed. Shenmue 3's release is the perfect opportunity to immerse yourself in this gaming experience in a modern way. The story is inviting, the world is mesmerizing, and the gameplay is addictive. Street maps of real, lifelike places keep the action moving, and the mini games and interactions keep you wanting more. Don't miss your chance to experience this amazing trilogy, and don't miss your chance to experience any of these amazing Dreamcast RPGs. Now this is Mars Mindset, and this is my top 10 list of Dreamcast RPGs. Take care, and if you like the video, like, share, and subscribe.